Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome to the Garcia Kind of Plays channel. And this is part 5 of our playthrough of Vampires the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest mod as a Tremere. So we are returning here to the last round. We need to talk to uh, Nimes Rodriguez so we can get our uh, extra skill points. We are going to have to come back here pretty soon to talk to Skelter here because of the petty quest. And also because of, of the Plague Bear quest, we have to come back here to talk to them so too. So I'm going to save here to hopefully get the correct <laughs> dialogue combination here. Two minutes, newbie. Came to California to get out. Uh, is it worth That's fighting? Why is it fighting? All right, this might learn a lot. I use guns. Time's up. Come around in a few nights. There you go. So uh, melee point. There it is. We only need two more points to max out all specs. So all specs, I still have trouble saying that word. So now that we have the extra point, we are going to basically do the rounds here, right? Uh, get all the quests and stuff. Usually how I do it here or how I proceed here in downtown is basically I do the Dane quest first, get the Haven, which I didn't get this time because I'm playing the Tremir. Then I, I come back, talk to the Prince, and then I basically get all the quests first. And then I go straight to the Skyline Apartments to do the quests. This time is going to be a little different because of the I'm playing with the Tremir and I'm with <laughs> Heather walking around with me here because of the companion mod. So, uh, that's good for the gargoyle later. I don't think I can hack this right now at all. So I'm not going to even try. Hello, Max. Greetings, neonate. Might... Yes. Strauss. Ah, yes, forgive me. I forget that you were not embraced within the pyramid. We share the same blood, you and I. But there is much you have yet to learn about our clan. Oh, dear. Yes. This new life in which you find yourself undoubtedly seems strange. I'm sure you have many questions, young one. Yes, I do. I will answer those which I am able. So, uh, I'm going to kind of skip through these. The but innocent. I usually don't play Tremere. Such things are possible, young one. But you would have to prove your worth to the clan before oh, it would even sure. be a consideration. A chantry is a... A regent is the leader of a chantry. And Let me give you some advice. As for what it... It seems... Yes, indeed. I can't at all choose the, choose the first option here. I need to work for both both without them knowing, so I have to avoid that. So uh Camarilla. The Camarilla. Uh, uh Surely. Sure. Of course. Okay. Maybe I could look hmm. into the epidemic. Very well. Alright. So now I got the, the Epidemic quest, uh, the Plague Bear quest, rather. So now, I think this is the trigger, this is the the quest that's going to give me this room right here. But we'll see. Well, all right, so <laughs> always in this spot between like this post right here and this uh, uh, power line here, always two or three or four people get stuck like for the entire game, always. Usually it's a cop and one of those uh, uh, thug looking kind of dudes. But in this case, it was this too. Uh, there's another spot, specific spot in Hollywood, in one of the sides of the city, of the, the street, really. Hollywood is a street in this game. That 
people get stuck in it all the time. I don't know why they get stuck in specific places. They get stuck because bloodlines, of course, but I mean, why in that specific place? I don't know. But it always happens, basically in every mod that I play, so it's kind of a feature. <laughs> Alright, so this is also another quest that I think, not a quest, uh, another character that I think was underused in the game, Pisha. She could have been used to do more. Interesting, either I already got it or, or it didn't show up, there is usually an item here. A pill bottle, I think. But whatever. Oh, wrong room. There you go. This is a weird quest because it's one of the coolest quests that you can do uh, in your first or even second playthrough. But it's one of those quests in, in the games that uh, after you did once or twice, you kind of get over it. So you kind of just, you know, uh, just go through the motions and finish the quest. It's not that cool anymore, that's my point. And that's physically impossible, <laughs> even for vampires. I also, I, I always find this super funny, doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's one here, yes. Because I basically don't have a whole lot of inspection, I have to rely on memory to find where the items are and sometimes they are not so easy to see Pisha is already eating a couple of guys there uh, getting stuck here as always, I always get stuck in this part there's another one, okay Let's see if I can just jump my way around here instead of going through the hole there. There you go. I don't think there's any items here. I'm just checking. Uh, you stay here. You know what this quest reminds me of and this place? Uh, I don't know if you guys ever saw this movie. Uh, it's called Grave Encounters. There's Grave Encounters 1 and 2, I think the first one from like 2000, 2010, 2011 or something like that. It's about basically what this quest is about. It's about like a, a ghost hunting crew, uh, TV, TV show crew. And they go to this, this theoretically haunted place and it's actually haunted. And they get basically stuck there forever. And in the second one, a dude that I think is a fan of the show or something like that or maybe he's family with like one of the people that's stuck in the house they go to the house to find out where the people are but it's a very cool movie very underrated and basically has a similar story to this quest here so I recommend terror is not this. hello Pisha Drinking blood. Uh, who are you? My birth uh, then building. Tell him this. Uh, all right. So we already have one more quest for the the Skyline Apartments. As I said a couple of episodes ago, I love uh, places in games where you can go and do just do like five to seven quests at once. Uh, Simplifies a lot of the grinding in a lot of games. So I don't need to talk to LaCroix anymore because I already got the, the Primogen quest. Uh, Fat Larry in this mod doesn't stay here, I think. This is not his spot. It is. Here's his quest, right? His quest kind of relies on uh, stealth. But I don't have a, a good sneaking skill, so I don't know what I'm going to do here. I am definitely putting my points on all specs, so I really don't know 
if I'm going to postpone this quest, what I'm going to do. Maybe he doesn't give me the quest right away, we'll see. Leia, what's the score? How that I am the My man. Nah, that is nah, nah. Okay, so we have uh heavy clothing, nah, nah, nah. the Glock, the Ingram. So all actual weapons, I only have horrible weapons, finally I have access to better ones. But I'm not going to buy them yet. Say now, brother. Well, well, well. Yo, I need a heart. Your heads was, but let's just say. Sounds good, but give me a discount, of course. Yo, man, why you gotta shake me down like that? If I hadn't just got my foot out of cat, yeah, that's what I. All right, so we already have. Not already, right? Finally, we have our second cloth here. So now we can uh, resist even more damage. So now let's talk to... What's her name? Uh, Venus, right? Yes. Actually, the petty quest is here too, so I'm going to have to save because I have to... I have five persuasions, so I think it's reasonable. I can solve her quest without having to kill her. <laughs> I knew. You. Mm. No. His name. Oh. No. You are. Uh, I can send her to, to the abandoned hospital so Pisha can eat her, literally. I can also uh, send her to the alley and kill her there, but I'm going to send her to San Diego. Oh, that is total I don't like uh, randomly killing dudes this game, unless I need to, or I'm roleplaying as a killer or something like that. Uh, so I have 16, so there you go. Maxed out aspects, that's awesome. So I'm going to have uh, 9 defense, which is amazing, and I'm going to have uh, 7 ranged, So and, and that for like 4 minutes every activation, so that's absolutely awesome. That solves basically most of my problems. I probably can do the Fat Larry quest without the stealth part. Everybody comes in here. Venus. Uh, the warehouse. That was me. Oh yeah. Intrigue. Yeah. Go on. I'll do it. Okay, so this is the first uh, quest that she gives. So I have to kill the the Russian fellow behind the the Empire Arms Hotel. So let's do it. As I said, I usually do all the quests together here in the skyline, but. Uh, I'm going to do this one first because it doesn't. It, it's not on the Skyline Hotel. The second part is here in the Empire Arms Hotel, alongside I think the Jezebel quest. The guys chose here to fight. Oh man, why? All right. Fashion bitch, send you. That you did. Where is money? Uh, up your mom's ass. You die. Sure. Hey. So, uh, because my defense is so high. Oh, I'm sorry, Heather. <laughs> Damn, that was a mistake. Because my defense is so high, I don't need to have good damage. I just need to survive and kill the dudes. Where's the other guy? Did I kill him? Did the quest? Yeah. So I think the guy somewhere here. I don't think I. Um, I don't know if I killed him. But that's okay. The main guy is dead, so that's okay. That's why I don't like the companion mod a whole lot. As you can see, I, I hit her by accident. I didn't even remember she was there. 
And the moment I hit her, I got one of the those police warnings. Luckily, no one came to uh, piss me off and stuff. What? I can't. Sure. Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Boris, go on. Good is done. Uh, be back. Okay. So we got the Boris quest now. Oh man, I think she's stuck in the door. Yes. Uh, get behind me, yes. I still remember a few things about the companion mod, even though I don't like it not as much. I need my haven so I can... Uh, keep Heather there, but for that I need to complete the, the Plague Bear quest, which is not easy. It's a long quest. So I have this the second Empire Arms Hotel quest, but I'm not going to do the quest right now. I'm going to avoid it for now. I think there's the uh, Vigilante scenario here. Another feature of the, the clan quest, which is uh, there's I think a prostitute that you can save here, and if you do, uh, she becomes a, your blood doll in the city. I think I'm going to save and walk into this alley here because I think that's where she stays. Let's see if I'm yes. Quiet, bitch. Help! 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 Anyone, please! God, you run your mouth a lot. I got a way to keep her from talking. She can keep screaming, though. <laughs> I like it when they scream. <laughs> Me too. Come on. All right. Something's there in the dark. <laughs> there you go. Teleporting, my new discipline. So, there it is. So I think uh, every once in a while I can drink her blood for free. I, I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist in the base game too. But I'm not sure it, it's from the Clint Quest mod. Is another one of those features that I can trace back to uh, which mod started to have this feature. So, I got the, the second Empire Arms quest, but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to do the Skyline quest first. Because I, I already have all the ones that I could get here. Usually, in this part of the game, I would, I would enter my haven and uh, stash my stuff there, but I can't. But I'll have to go down here because I completely forgot the password. There's one of the one of the apartments here that has a password. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to go enter uh, via the, the sewers. So I need to find a manhole here. Uh, there's one here, I'm pretty sure. There's a computer in the, the basement of the building. That's the one I need to find out the password. I don't know, I think this one is just outside, if I'm not mistaken. This is not the one I need, I think. Just trying it out. No, this is exactly the one I need, so... I just have to be stealthy here, so I don't uh, alert the, gar the guard upstairs. I don't want to lose more humanity by having to kill the dude. So there you go. Uh, not email, apartment notes. Apartment notes. 
so apartment uh, one that's the TV guy apartment two that's uh, the quest from Santa Monica apartment uh, three that's the one I need uh, 9648 so 9648 okay four is the Haven apartment five is Paul and six is Hannah yeah so I don't need to look at it I know so 9648 that's the the number I needed oh Heather uh, uh, get behind me please I never finished the anti-tribu mod because I had so many bugs with the, the followers uh, actually followers <laughs> that's the other scrolls term uh, the companions so I kind of just gave up because I was having so much trouble with them and without them the game is difficult because the, as far as I remember the mod is kind of uh, tuned for you to use the companions on combat but I also remember that you can get a, a, a gargoyle and the gargoyle is extremely powerful not the gargoyle on the on the Asian Asian uh, theater the one in Hollywood it's just, just a gargoyle more in a more traditional sense and there she goes again thank you first floor so this is the TV guy apartment uh, I don't think there's any item down here the great uh, bloodlines experience is also here right uh, no windows the guy just breathe to through the vent right so I don't know how the dude is alive Oh yeah, there's also the picture here, right? The yes, there's a photo here. Uh, so I'm going to save here because this usually uh, breaks the game. He can get stuck here. In the hospital. They were just joking, man. There you go. So he got teleported, which is good because, as I said, this can usually bug. Oh, I got a redemption, that's good. I had one violation before. So this is apartment number two, this is uh, Milligan. Uh, I'm going to have to use blood buff here. So this one is one part of a serial uh, killer cat quest that started on Santa Monica. Mr. Milton. So this quest, I have to go to one of the buildings right in front of the last round, the the, the, Anak, the Anak bar, the melee book, uh, which doesn't help me. I don't even have enough research to use it. I'm not going to spend on research right now. Again, choosing my face. <laughs> As I said, that's why I don't like this. This companion mod mainly is because uh, you get stuck frequently, or she, or he, depending on Master? which follower uh, then you're using. Uh, okay, so I don't even know what's happening here. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bug is this. Yes. <sighs> get behind me, please. I just want my haven so I can. Uh, Mm. We almost bugged out here. It was very close. I don't know if you guys saw, but the buttons were all uh, non interactive. That's usually the sign of a bug. That's why I hate the competitive mod. Alright, this part is going to be a little complicated because. First, where is she? I need to move her around because in this version of the game, 
if you get the the jewels that are hidden on on the safe this floor what happens is a cop shows up so i have to dodge the cop uh, yes get behind me uh stay here yes that's what i need so you stay there i don't know if he's going to uh start fighting the cop so let's save it's totally possible so safe uh I actually don't know the password of the safe. Not enough, so I'm going to use my uh, all specs here. There you go. Hacking nine, that's crazy. And uh, lock. So I have to do this stealthily. Because the, mom the moment I click on this, a guy will show up. That's some good loot there. There you go, he's already down there. So now I have to avoid him. Luckily he's checking other doors. My stealth is not great right now, so let's get as far as possible from him. Master? Uh Come with me. Okay. Uh, five, four, we can skip because the haven, I, I don't have access to it. All right. So we can already remove the stuff here. Uh, this is Paul's apartment. He's dead. Now where's the phone? There you go. I don't think there's any item in his apartment, I don't remember. Probably not. And the last one. Oh, sure. I forgot to hear what the the code on the lock was. 1203. Alright. There you go. There's a key here, right? Key to the safe. So she's gonna die, so it's not she's not going to need it anyway, so might as well. So I'm a friend of Paul. You did it? Uh, yeah. <coughs> Are you okay? Well, Where did you get it? Who's Jeez. the client? Uh, what can you tell me? <coughs> Was there anything strange? Uh, where's Jezebel? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I chose the wrong option. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is so messed up. Oh man, I regret it. I really do. As I said, I don't like using the, the bad options in dialogues in games. I, I should have I should have kept like lying to her until the end, that telling her that Paul was okay. But I chose the option <laughs> that to tell her the truth. So she died uh, knowing that Paul died too. That's that was not nice. That was so not not cool. But it is what it is, man. That's what you get for skipping the dialogue, am I right? That's the the online gamer punishment. Skip the quest, then complain about the game. Uh, the cop is up there, right? So. So now I have the Chew Empire Arms Hotel quests. But I don't think I'm gonna do this quest right now because I am with this uh, numbskull here. So what I'm going to do probably 
I'm going to finish the Plague Bearer quest first, so I need to kill Jezebel, but I'm not going to do the Boris quest. The Boris quest has a lot of combat, and I'm pretty sure with Hannah here, I'm going to have a lot of extra trouble. So guys, uh, Garcia from the future here, <laughs> I had to uh, redo three or four uh, floors of the Skyline apartments because when I entered here with Hannah, uh, crashed, so uh, I had to do it again, so that's why there's a jump cut. So I knew this was going to be trouble, but yes, may I help you? If I don't, yes. I can't. Do uh, if I don't I uh, get the Haven, she will just follow me around, I guess. I think there's an option here to send her away. Probably, let Master, me see. Actually, me? <laughs> uh, let's keep moving. Master, let me see. Get behind uh, more. Let's talk, uh, playing with your emotions, find you out return to my haven. Yes, that's what I want. Ah, thank God. Alright, so one less problem in my life. Uh, I actually did blood now, before I fight Jezebel. Uh, there's the bathroom. So I, I'm just going to on this lady right here hopefully no one leaves the bathroom while I'm feeding on her let's just get stealthy here so if someone is coming I can notice all right that's enough so I actually redid the the henna quest that I just did I had to redo it so what happens is happened is I have humanity five, so I can't choose an option to uh, not kill her. I have to not not that not kill her. That's the wrong wording. Uh, to not uh, reveal to her that Paul is dead. I don't have this option because of my low humanity. Because as as you remember, I had to sacrifice a little bit of my humanity to get the CDC quest, which if you don't know what it is uh, uh, it will be a while until I do this quest mm, I don't remember which floor Jezebel is in I don't know if it's floor 5 or 6 actually to be sure because I don't want to do the Boris quest right now I'm going to check the computer just to see uh, Where each one is. Uh, Brooklyn, that's probably uh, number five, right? Uh, I imagine. So, Brooklyn, sweet. Just about, yes. So, she's on uh, apartment number five, which is super funny that you have such a tall building that just have six floors. But that vampire for you. She's not going to be hard, I think. Uh, I still have my fire axe here. Oh yeah, who do we have? Here? Little morsel. Yeah. So what the hell's oh. going on? Uh, not that I'm complaining. Good idea. Oh, don't move. Die, bitch. That's a pretty decent amount of damage there. Especially when, when you consider that I have a lot of defense and she's still giving this much damage. I, I, but I think she's using presence on me too. So that's why I'm taking more damage. Ooh, finally, so Jezebel is done. There's a book here, uh, no means no, this one is probably a brawl book, or similar. I still haven't used my firearms book, or did I? I don't remember. So, okay, we were, did this one. So my idea is, now that I did this Plague Bear quest, 
we will go to the other side of the city so I can do the other Plague Bearer quest and then I'll have to fight Vic I'm going to buy weapons to fight him, I'm not going to find, find him uh, melee the damage is just not going to be enough, I'm pretty sure so actually I'm going to buy right now so uh, there's the Plague Bearer quest uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, I'm not going to do the Empire Arms now. Uh, I'm not going to, to do the Fetlar request now. I have to talk to Pisha, actually. Uh, for now, that's it. I have to talk to Skelter. Partner. I think I'm going to use uh, this weapon. Instead of the Glock, I think it's safer because the Glock, because it's not an automatic weapon, it depends uh, on your aim, right? And I am not great at FPS games and stuff, so instead of risking it, just get the automatic one and just <laughs> shoot everything and everybody, right? When you suck, that's the way you do it. So Pish is going to ask me for the two artifacts. Uh, I'm not close to any of the quests. Uh, one, of the, one is in the museum, right? Which is after the grab quest. Yeah. I understand. A fetish is. Tell me about the items. Uh, all right. Yes. Uh, I brought you a little snack. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, forget it. Okay. So this little snack is the arm that I got in the the gimbal quest back in Santa Monica. I don't know if that's in. Is in the original game if it's a, a mod feature but makes sense so the last thing we are going to do in this video is uh, deliver the petty quest to Skelter and on the next one we are already going to go to the source to fight the second plague bearer and hopefully we can actually fight and defeat uh, Bishop Vic I don't know if we actually can so I just need to real quick uh, do another part of the serial killer quest line here this one I actually have to save here because the dude usually gets stuck on one of the pillars when you talk to him, there you go. Hey, dude. He don't talk. He's too bad. Dead fellow. Muddy. One second, me. Oh, that gun. Oh, I couldn't. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want never think about that again. So as you see, the guy almost got stuck here, as I thought he would. That happens a lot. Okay, let's go. Um, there it is, lucky star. So that one will continue now in, in Hollywood. Uh, I love the fact that this quest, specifically, you have to do several steps of this quest in basically all the hubs, right? Except Chinatown. But you still have the option of uh, not fighting and just solving it by talking, which is awesome. That's RPG right there. So I'm just going to deliver the petty quest here, and we'll be done for this episode. What's up? Good work. 
schools ain't nothing but trouble. There you go. So that's it, guys. Uh, I have a lot of points that I will spend later on if something shows up, or well, if need be. And uh, as I said on the next episode, this is going to be the Blade Bear quest. Uh, we had that hiccup <laughs> where we crashed on the Empire Arms Hotel. But other than that, uh, it's going pretty well with this build for now. The l specs defense thing is really helping. So that's it guys, uh, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.